How do you find the pace in Europe? Pace is much more mellow. People are chilling. I think there's just a hunger that tends to present itself in either more third world countries or America. Ça fait un peu cliché quand même. Attends, il y a pas un petit béret qui traîne là. Quand je pose la question aux Américains, ils disent que les Américains sont plus ambitieux que les Européens en général. Ah ouais. Tu penses pas Je sais pas. Ils sont tous ambitieux. C'est plus capitaliste, ça c'est sûr. Hein, ouais. Les gens ils poursuivent plus de succès, plus d'ambition. Ah oui, oui, c'est sûr. À After working and traveling between the two continents, that's a question I really wrestle with. Here you have one side that is materialistic, risk-oriented and achievement-driven, and another side that is pleasure-oriented and all about maximizing the quality of life instead of material wealth. But the main question I'm asking myself is which way of life is actually contributing to a better quality of life? And working between the two continents made me realize not only how the work culture is very different, but the American way and the European way of life are almost at the opposite of each other. I feel like every society has positives and negatives. And I truly believe that on the individual level, but also the societal level, if cultures and individuals don't learn from each other, we stagnate. Like the great Thomas Sowell says in his massive books, Basic Economics, cultural isolation. One of the aspects of a culture that can be very important in its economic consequences is a willingness or unwillingness to learn from other cultures. And growing up in Morocco, the only way I was able to to learn about the European way of life or the American way of life was through TV, pop culture, music and movies. And even though Morocco was closer to Europe as an old French colony, I was always very fond of the idea of the American dream. I mean growing up listening to hip hop music or watching Hollywood movies or reading magazines, success for me was in America. That idea of making it big resonated with me and was deeply ingrained in my psyche. I also believe that that spirit is what encouraged me to leave Morocco because I had bigger ambitions. I moved to Paris about, what, six years ago? And to be honest, I love it. It's truly been one of the greatest cities in the world. Culturally rich, very animated. And coming from Morocco, it was definitely a big step up in terms of opportunity, pace, ambition. But I always knew that Europeans were not like a very success oriented. That's not the reputation of Europeans, it's more like maximizing quality of life instead of material wealth. And um, yeah, the negative sentiment towards American culture and mindset is definitely intriguing. So that's where we're going, Jardin des Tuileries, to ask some Parisians what do they think about the American way of life. When you see the Americans, their lifestyle, their style of life through the films and all that, it resonates with like, your style of life or do you think that it's another autre attitude towards life? C'est une autre attitude, mais euh, je pense pas que je pourrais y vivre. Peut-être que j'ai une très mauvaise idée des Américains, j'en sais rien. Euh... C'est pas un style de vie qui t'attire Je pense pas. C'est plus capitaliste, ça c'est sûr. C'est une culture un peu différente. Évidemment, elle est plus moderne. Les gens, ils poursuivent plus de succès, plus d'ambition. Ah oui, oui, ça c'est sûr. Ça c'est sûr. Je pense que si on a beaucoup d'argent, il vaut mieux vivre aux états unis C'est plus facile de le multiplier. Je pense qu'on est quand même moins dans le paraître. C'est pas le... Le succès à tout prix. Je pense qu'on est, on est moins compétitif, moins dans le, le succès à tout prix. Bah, en revanche, le point positif, c'est que ce côté bien-être, euh, je pense qu'on arrive à bien s'en sortir. And I always questioned where that cultural difference towards work came from, and then I got it because the Bohemian lifestyle started here in France, which is basically rejecting any material wealth and romanticizing living in poverty with carelessness day to day. And even though not all French people are Bohemians now, but I can see the roots of that mindset and the impact of the Bohemian lifestyle that still influence in France, Germany, and other cultures in Europe. I travel a lot for work. I'm actually currently in Geneva, Switzerland, for a few days. And besides traveling within Europe, I actually accomplished one of my biggest dreams, which was to set foot in New York City and work there. I'm still living in Paris, but just getting exposed to so many different cultures, whether it's in Spain, Switzerland, Italy, America, it has some deep shifts uh, in my perspective. And being ambitious myself and having a certain respect for hard work, entrepreneurship and risk taking, I really appreciate that these traits were more celebrated in the US. For me, there's nothing like the exhilarating energy you feel on a Monday morning, walking around Park Avenue in New York City, going to work. That energy definitely rubs off on you. But talking to American friends and seeing how taking a day off is a rarity and seeing people work two to three jobs just to make ends meet, that definitely made me question things. Like I love America, I love the ambition, I love the drive, but being in that rat race, it just 
threw me off. While money was more abundant in the US compared to Europe, excluding Switzerland, a lot of Americans just live paycheck to paycheck because of debt. And that's a huge cultural difference between Europe and the US. Europeans tend to be more frugal, they don't buy stuff if they don't have the money for it, and I think that's a good thing. The USA is the number one superpower in the world, and it's the closest thing to a modern empire. But even though on paper we might think that Europe is more equal than the US, the system is actually more dynamic in the US. Yes, equality of opportunity is actually more of an American thing. 50% of Americans will spend at least a year in the top 10% earners in the whole country. That's half the population. Of course, they will work harder because they feel it's an actual possibility. Compared to Europe, where it's more static, a lot of the current wealthiest families in Europe are wealthy through inheritance. And one of the worst examples is Florence, Italy, where a handful of the wealthiest families are the same since the 1500s. No downside for the powerful means no upside for the rest. And my recurrent trips to NYC deeply changed me to be honest. The ambitious spirit of the city rubbed off on me and opened up new possibilities. I mean, I'm just a kid from Morocco, but America just shows you that anything is possible wherever you came from. And I met and interviewed people I admired I never dreamed of meeting. It just has that sky's the limit energy that I couldn't find nowhere else. But I might be biased, you know, I didn't grow up in, in America, so I'm very curious to know what Americans and New Yorkers think about their own system and their way of life. What do you think about, like, Europeans say Americans live to work, mm -hmm. compared to Europeans, they say, like, we work to live? That's 100% right. Oh, yeah? Yeah, especially in, like, law, you see people are just working for a paycheck. So this is one of the things I'm trying not to do. I feel like Europeans have a much more balanced lifestyle, but I don't know, I get a lot of fulfillment from my job as well. What's behind your ambitions? Um, I came from a blue collar family and mm -hmm. I always saw my mother working three jobs, working so hard to make a living. And I want to make my family proud that all those sacrifices that were made for me to be attorney in New York, that all of that was worth the sacrifices that they made. Americans love to work um, in general and Europeans tend to enjoy life more. I think there's just a hunger that tends to present itself in either more third world countries or America just because of, you know, the quality of life is worse here. So you have more reason to want to climb to the top. And I'd say there's a truth to it. That lifestyle brings with it a certain imbalance. Europe can push you to take it slower, reflect. Europe teaches you that rest is as crucial as productivity. But Americans don't necessarily think the same. New York, it's completely different. You know, we're always thinking about work the next day mm -hmm. even if it's like today yeah right like what we have to do tomorrow mm -hmm. and then day after that your weather in Europe like they have five weeks of vacation yeah. I do know that. how many do you have here um, I have two five is like a good time frame two is too short holiday yeah I wish we had that bro that'd be fire that's crazy like so nobody, nobody does that here that's like maternity leave almost <laughs> like Nobody does that. So which way of life leads to a better quality of life? That's the question I think we all ask in ourselves. Personally, I feel like the answer is somewhere in between. I learned from the both attitudes and it made me much happier. Living here in Paris and traveling around Europe helped me purify my desires, let's say. The Mediterranean culture teaches you to enjoy the small things, like fresh food or just shooting the shit with friends and taking long walks. Like it shows you that you don't need all these toys to be happy. It teaches you to be content. And I think the same success-driven mindset and culture that America has that made it the greatest country in the world can backfire. The relentless advertising efforts of large corporations in America definitely had a deep, impact on the American psyche. I was surprised to see how Americans are too much into status symbols and keeping up with the Joneses compared to Europeans. And I think that's one of the main negative aspects I see in America. But at the same time, the European way of life can make you too comfortable and risk averse. Safety nets are provided, so it can make you miss out on all the growth you can experience from challenges and anti-fragility. But personally, I just take the best out of both worlds. Being driven and taking risks while taking the time to rest and enjoy how far I've come. Hard work without workaholism, pleasure without hedonism. That's how I balance both. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and see you in the next video.